Hi, welcome to what's happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, the National Union of Electricity Employees has again threatened to shut down the national grid if the federal government fails to honor their demands. The aggrieved workers said the two weeks given to resolve the crisis has elapsed. The Zonal Organizing Secretary, Northwest of NUAE, Comrade Dukat Ayuba, said that while the negotiation is still ongoing, the shutting down of the national grid still hangs. A member of Central Executive Committee, Wisdom Wachko, also noted that the federal government is meeting with stakeholders on plans to sell the transmission company of Nigeria. At number two, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Alkali, has directed heads of police formation across the country to ensure that all state-run security agencies are not engaged in electioneering activities towards next year's general elections. Mr. Alkali gave the directive on Thursday in Abuja at the opening of a conference for strategic police managers consisting of officers from the rank of commissioners of police and above. He charged the officers to ensure that they are not in any way or manner utilized by any political or community actor for any role during the electioneering campaign and other electoral processes. Mr. Alkali also urged all police personnel in the country to be neutral in all processes for the 2023 general elections. At number three, the Sokoto state governor Amino Tambual has replaced his Ekiti state counterpart, Kayode Fayemi, as the chairman of Nigeria Governors Forum. Tambuwal assumed the position on Thursday at the National Economic Council meeting in Asorok Villa, Abuja, after Fayemi transferred the baton of office to him. The Director of Media and Public Affairs of NGF, Abdul Razak Bello Bakindo, confirmed the change of baton in a statement on Thursday. According to the statement, Tambuwa will be holding the fort until May next year when a proper election is conducted among the governors. At number four, Dauda Biu, the acting corps marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps, has again stressed the need for members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers to install speed limit devices on their vehicles. He said this was a compulsory presidential directive. Mr. Biu stated this when the NURTW president, Tajuddin Bariwa, paid a courtesy visit to the FRSC headquarters on Thursday in Abuja. Mr. Barrow said the union aren't financially buoyant to afford the device, given other transportation costs. He appealed to the federal government to support the transport sector in all areas as they try their best to comply with the rules and regulations. At number five, the Market Traders Association of Nigeria on Thursday disclosed that the federal government has lost over 31 trillion naira to illegal tax collectors who are extorting Nigerian traders. Speaking at the Benefit Scheme Enrollment for Traders held at Adama Siba Stadium in Ibadan, the Chairman Project Committee of the Scheme, Ambassador Ola Kunle Moses Johnson, decried multiple taxation by the relevant government agencies. He warned that if not curtailed, it will result in geometric increase of the prices of goods and wares at various markets in Nigeria. In his remark, the Chairman Martin Board of Trustees, Honorable Mohamed Labaran, said they have resolved that a federal inland revenue service should invite all stakeholders in controlling and implementing price control for a meeting. That's all for now and see you next time on what's happening.